Lab TV travels to Washington, D.C., where students from across the United States are gathered to show off some amazing airplane designs. We're at Real World Design Challenge, and um, we had to build an airplane, like design our own new airplane. And like we tested it and got all these numbers, and now we had to present it at state and now we're at nationals in D.C. Last fall, 500 teams signed up for the state challenge. The winners from each state are here to compete in the national challenge. This is really taking on challenges that you would never expect to find in high school. <laughs> Something that you never really get to do in class. It's just way different from anything I've ever seen. With RWDC, high school students get to tackle a real world engineering problem. This year, they had to design a stable, fuel efficient airplane. The challenge was to design this part of the plane and the tail section to uh, have the best fuel efficient plane. You had to balance lift and weight, drag and thrust because the plane was traveling at 37,000 feet at 400 knots. For any aircraft, lift works opposite to weight and thrust works opposite to drag. To design a plane that flies level and straight, the students had to learn a lot about these four forces. Okay, we have to we had to balance lift and weight and thrust and drag. Your lift is caused by your wing or airfoil and it actually is what causes you to lift up. Weight or the gravitational pull on the airplane. That's the force that the wings have to counteract to make the plane fly. Thrust is the force that the engines create. Thrust is what makes the plane go forward. Drag brings the airplane back. Drag is the force of the air uh, pushing against the airplane. Students use professional tools like Pro Engineer and Flow EFD to create, refine, and test their designs. Yeah, we get to use software that they use in the real world. I mainly worked in uh, Pro Engineer to design the tail and wings. We use Pro E, we use uh, Ghost Gum, GS View. And we got to use a virtual wind tunnel as well as just online collaboration software to keep in touch with our team and teams get online help from professional scientists and engineers. So schools as far away as Alaska can connect and participate. The design variables we use were airfoil, span, taper ratio, sweep. Span is the distance tip to tip to each wing. Taper ratio is how small the wing gets to the end of the wing. Sweep is the angle the wing is at. If we had a larger sweep, it'd be down more. Some students just start with drawing. Then, to analyze their designs, they look at geometric shapes, and that builds math skills. This is our T-tail, and as you can see, our tail plane surfaces, which are right here and right here, are kept out of the way of the wing and the rear fuselage, so it allows a smoother flow and a really good uh, glide ratio. The top three teams present their findings at the National Air and Space Museum. We also tested the taper ratio, mostly done in the analysis program. Like, we never got a chance like this. We don't get to really do stuff like this in school. You just follow, like, tutorials. And so this was a lot of fun just to get to analysis, get a challenge, and then you have to design it, and it's your idea. We then combined the wing and tail and started to optimize the plane as a system. Like, normally, engineers will just work on, oh, let's just concentrate on building a wing. No, instead of doing that, we built it as an entire plane and thought, oh, well, what can we do to the wing to make the tail better? We began to optimize the entire plane to the minimum of the objective function. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome With to RWDC, our students can solve real-world problems. An effective design process is very important. So could these planes really fly? Yeah. Uh, it, would, it would fly, but I'm not sure how well it would perform. If you gave us another month or two yeah, to finish it, it would. And now, our first place winning team, the team from Kansas. To find out more about engineering, airplanes, and real-world design challenge, check out labtvonline.org.